Another example of false news is the Pao Ma Dark charge against Lim Chin Xiong to arrest him in October 20, uh, 1956. The background Lim Chin Xiong had supported David Marshall in the Randall Constitutional Talks in London in early 1956. Marshall had demanded for full self-government. The British rejected it and the talks failed. Marshall resigned, hoping to have a stronger mandate for the people of Singapore. But he was played out by his Labour Front colleagues. Lim Yuhok became the Chief Minister. With Marshall out, the question now is how to prevent Lim Jin Xiong, the Assistant Secretary General and elected Legislative Assemblyman from attending the second Randall Constitutional Talks. The stage was set, obviously, with Lee Kuan Yew's connivance to set Lim Jin Xiong up. From mid-1956, Lim Yu Hock conducted a series of arrests on students, social media, women's organization committees, student family committees, cultural groups, and unionists. The student camped in Huato, and Lim Yu Hock gave them an ultimatum to get out by 8 p.m. on 25th October. On the evening of the same day, the PAP held a protest rally against these arrests, just a mile or so from Hua Chong School. Lim Jin Xiong was the last speaker at 7 p.m. Sensing the tensions created by the Lim Yu Hock government, he called on the people in Hokkien to treat the police as friends and not to shout Pa Ma Da. Lee Kuan Yew and PAP leaders were on the stage and they heard Lim Chin Xiong clearly. Rioting broke out an hour later when the police attacked Hua Zhong and Lim Chin Xiong was arrested. The Labour Front government in the Legislative Assembly charged Lim Jin Xiong for calling on the people to Pa Ma Ta as the reason for his arrest. Li Kuan Yew did not stand up to protest against the, this falsehood. In fact, till today, the PEP government has sponsored books repeating this lie.